How to create documentation for your design in ARCHICAD and ARCHIFRAME. In this video, I will explain how you get from a 3D model to layout and PDF files in ARCHICAD. Then I will demo ARCHIFRAME's additional layout features that enable you to create element elevations and automatically place these elevations on layout. Let's start with the ARCHICAD documentation since ARCHIFRAME builds on the ARCHICAD features. First of all, you need a 3D model. In addition to 3D, the model can be viewed and edited from the perspective of a plan, an elevation, or a section. You can save these 2D or 3D views. When saving a 2D view, you can control things like the scale of the view, the color of lines and fills, which layers are visible in the view, and so on. I will choose a black and white pen set for this view, but I will keep the current layer combination and scale. Then I will name this view section ARCHICAD, since it only has ARCHICAD objects visible. The next step is to place the saved views on layout. Layouts are basically virtual versions of a paper. For example, this one has the dimensions of an A3 landscape paper. You can also add text on the layout, including automatic text like the name of the drawing. Now I will place the section view on this layout. So you can see that the auto text is now updated. If I edited the model, then the view and this layout would also be updated unless I turned updates off. Now I'll just make another layout for the elevation drawing and place the elevation on this layout. Finally, once the layouts are finished, I will print them. And here you can see the finished PDF file. Next. Let's move on to ARCHIFRAME documentation. In essence, ARCHIFRAME brings you two kinds of layout-related features. First of all, whenever you create planks for an ARCHIFRAME element, then ARCHIFRAME automatically creates an element elevation drawing of that element. This elevation includes views of the element from different angles. If the layers of your wall are located on different ARCHICAD layers, then you can easily hide some of these layers so that the element elevation only shows framing, for example. I will keep all the layers visible in this view. The element elevation also includes a cut list with the dimensions and ID of each piece in the wall. It is also possible to mark the center of gravity of the element on the drawing. If you need to change something about the drawing, ARCHIFRAME also supports manual editing. For example, I could arrange the text in this drawing into two columns so that the drawing could be less tall. If you make changes to the actual 3D model, then the drawing will update automatically unless you turn off the update automation. Here you can see the elevation drawings of all the elements in this project. This brings us to the second layout related feature that ARCHIFRAME offers, the ability to automatically place the element elevation drawings on ARCHICAD layout. If you have many elevations, like I do in this project, then this feature can save you a lot of time. When placing elevations on ARCHICAD layouts automatically, the first step is to select the element elevations that I want to create layouts out of and open the ARCHIFRAME layouts menu. Here, I can set a name for the layout. Then I can choose the master layouts that the drawings will be placed on and define the scale of the drawings. Lastly, I can choose whether I want the drawings to be automatically updated on the layout in case I edit the drawings. Now I will click OK. ARCHIFRAME is warning me that the floor element drawing cannot fit on the A3 layout that I chose. So let's open the layouts and have a look. I'll first check the wall element drawings. 
Both of them look good. If I open the floor element drawing, it indeed does not fit on the layout. Therefore, I will apply a bigger A2 sized layout instead. So now it looks better. Finally, I will print the entire set of layouts in my project. This will replace the previous PDF file that I created. And here is the result.